Well, I think the journey to get to the table, I mean, certainly in my career there's always been that discussion, oh, is HR at the table? And I always took it for granted that we were. So I just acted the way I thought I would act if I was as integral to the decision as anybody else. And that means speaking up when you need to speak up. It means uh, having the conversations that need to happen. I think sometimes that is a really key role for HR is to bring that which we're not saying into the room and put it out and, and, and let the conversations um, go from there. Uh, certainly starting in, in some of the organizations I worked at, they weren't used to HR at all, much less at the table. So it's being able to, uh, to collaborate with your management team and to build trust and respect and ultimately um, to understand what their needs are that you can begin to anticipate and be proactive rather than just reacting to what a particular issue is. We had a long discussion about why we needed flexible work time and flex days and all that kind of stuff in an industry that wasn't used to that. And um, you know, I probably lost my temper actually in, in the boardroom and, and was you know, fairly miffed and left and thought to myself, I'm not sure this is the place for me. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad about the fact that they're not um, paying attention to this. And then I thought to myself, well, okay, now I've completely, you know, career, career limiting move. I've blown it. I came in the next day, my boss said, that was the best conversation we have ever had at our senior table. I gave him a quizzical look, like thinking, oh, I didn't perceive it that way. He's like, when you told us that we were dinosaurs and that we didn't get it and that this was going to affect our ability to attract the kind of people we wanted to attract, um, when you, you know, told us that we were, um, you know, going to basically shoot ourselves in the foot in, in terms of our business going forward, because no one's ever said that stuff to us before. We didn't get it. And, and it was at the point I looked at him and I said, I'm the only person here who has a spouse that works. So you guys don't really understand the reality for a lot of people because you're not in their reality. And that's part of HR's role is to be an advocate for um, the different points of view and the different perspectives. Certainly there was when, a time when I started my, my career where it was like, well, you know, we're the voice of the people, we're the advocate for the people, and it was almost more that, uh, that um, labor relations uh, aspect. You know, someone has to advocate, you know, on behalf of the people. And then the pendulum swung a little bit and it started to become, well, no, no, we're the voice of management to the people. Um, and, and now I think we're really at a spot where we're there to mediate all of the interests that are there, whether it's the employee, whether it's the, um, the business and the shareholder, whether it's the community that we do work, work in, where we need to sometimes play you know, a bit of an advocacy role, um, and it's bringing different perspectives to the table. And um, you know, I had a boss that once said, you know, the biggest gift that you bring is that you think so differently from some of the other folks in the room that you make us think of stuff we haven't even considered before. I think an important thing for HR is to ask the questions that sometimes need to be asked and that is in some cases the, uh, uh, the white elephant in the room and shining some light on that. Um, I've worked in organizations where uh, every other person in the room was a VP and I was the manager of HR and it was very much, uh, well we don't really need a VP of HR so manager is a great place for that to start. And if you worry about that positionally, if you spend your time concerned about that, you're not doing the work that needs to be done, which is to call out, you know, this is the initiatives we need to get to, these are the issues we have to tackle, and, um, you know, I just acted the way I would have expected the leader of HR to act, and the, the advocate for HR to act, and, you know, when the VP title came, um, people said, oh my gosh, how has the job changed? It's like it hasn't. The, the, the title changed, but the job is the same. The, the relationships are the same. Um, I maybe have more positional power, but you don't get to use that very often anyway. <laughs> and so really, it, it's a matter of, um, you know, in all cases, being that voice in the room uh, from wherever it is that you stand or whatever position you sit at.